In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up some stop losses on the MEXC futures market, whether you're going long or going short. This video is not financial advice and is intended for educational purposes only. If you're still relatively new to trading futures on MEXC, I do have a MEXC futures step-by-step -step beginners tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. First, I'll show you how to set up a stop loss for a position that's already open. Then I'll show you how to set up a stop loss when opening a position. So the first thing I need to do is get myself into a small position here. So I'll come over to the order panel and I'll just go ahead and mark it in something like this. Confirm. Good enough. Now that I've opened my small long position in this area right here, perhaps I want to consider managing my risk and setting a stop loss just below this red wick right over here. So what I'll do from here is I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tools and I'll mark an area just below that wick, perhaps something like this. Now what we need to do from here is come down to open positions and over here on the right hand side, you'll see where it says TPSL. Just simply click on the add button below that. Then we'll get this little pop-up window where we can put in our stop loss and we can add a take profit target as well. So for the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that I'm targeting $30,000 to take profit. We'll come right down here to the take profit box and I'll just type that in. We'll go 30,000, just like so. Then we can see right here that Mexi is estimating my P&L if my take profit was to get hit. And then right here is where we can put in our stop loss. And of course, I want to use the price point that's correlating to that horizontal, which we can see on the Y axis of the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and type that into stop loss. We'll go 25,000. 678. Now we can see right here that Mexi is estimating my loss if my stop loss was to get hit. Once you get this set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on confirm. Now we've added that stop loss as well as that take profit. So let's head back up here to the chart. And we can see that stop loss in this box right here. And we can see our take profit right up here. You can easily amend these as well by just simply grabbing onto the box and dragging it wherever you want it. For example, let's come over here to the stop loss. I'll go ahead and grab onto it like so. And let's go ahead and drag it down, maybe somewhere down here. Now, as you can see, I just dragged the stop loss down to 25,504. If I wanted to move it up, I just grab onto it again, move it up slightly like so. And as you can see, you can easily amend these. If we want to move the take profit, we can grab onto that. Let's go ahead and just slide it up, maybe something like this. Now I just amended the take profit to 30,531, as easy as that. If at any point you want to cancel these, you can do so by just clicking on this X inside the box. So let's go ahead and cancel the take profit. I'll click right here on this X. And as you can see, I just removed it. Another way to do this is come down here to open orders, give it a click, and then come over here on the right hand side and click on revoke underneath action. So let's go ahead and cancel the stop loss. And as you can see, I just removed the stop loss as easy as that. Now I'll go ahead and close this position and I'll show you how to set your take profit and stop loss when opening a position. So let's head back over here to the order panel and this time I'll open a short position and I'll add my take profit and stop loss as I'm opening this position. So for quantity here, I'll just go 20 tether for the purposes of demonstration. Then what we would need to do is come down here and check this box. If you were opening a long position, you'd check this box over here. So I'll go ahead and check this. In this box right here, we can add our take profit. So let's just imagine that I'm targeting 24,000. We'll just go ahead and type that in. And for a stop loss, let's just imagine that I want to set my stop loss at 27,500. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just come down here and open the position. So I'm going to open my short. Confirm the details are what you intended. If everything looks good, you'd click on confirm. And as you can see, I've entered my short position and my stop loss was added right up here. And we can see my take profit down here. And of course, these are easily amended if we just grab onto the box. Let's just imagine we want to move the take profit down like so. And as you can see, I just amended it to 23,569. And if we want to move our stop loss, we'd grab onto it. And then let's just imagine we wanted to move it up slightly, maybe something like that. And as you can see, I just amended the stop loss to 27,729. If we want to cancel them, just click the X inside the box like so. There goes the stop loss and there goes the take profit. Nice and simple. This also works when placing limit orders too. So I'll just go ahead and close my position, click this little X right here, confirm. And here's how to do this when placing a limit order. So we'll come back over here to the order panel. We'll click on limit. 
Now let's imagine that I want to open a long position if the price of Bitcoin comes down to 24,000. I'll type that into this price right here, like so. For quantity, I'll just do 20 tether for this demonstration. Then we'd come down here and we'd check this box right here, long with TPSL. Now let's imagine that I want to target 30,000 if this position fills. And then for stop loss, let's just imagine I want to set it at 23,900. Once you get this set up the way that you want it, click on open long. You'll get your order confirmation pop-up window, so make sure the details are what you intended. Then you'd come down here and click on confirm. Now I've placed that limit order onto the order book to go long if the price comes down to 24,000. If that order fills, my take profit will be added immediately as well as my stop loss. We can see the long order right here in this green box on the chart and we can find the details if we come down here and click on open orders next to open positions. And as you can see here, we'll be buying long if the price of Bitcoin comes down to 24,000. If this order fills, you can see right here that a take profit will be added for 30,000 and a stop loss will be added for 23,900. If you want to edit those, you could click this little icon right here. You'll get your pop-up window and then here's where you can edit the details. So let's just say I want to edit the take profit up to 31,000. I do something like that. Let's imagine I want to amend the stop loss down to 23,800. Then we click on confirm. Now when we come back down here, we can see that I've amended those. So my take profit will be added for 31,000 and my stop loss will be added at 23,800. If you want to get rid of those altogether, you just come over here and click on revoke underneath action. And as you can see, we removed that limit order off of the order book, as well as that take profit and stop loss. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the asset and the time frame that you're trading and set levels that are appropriate for your trade idea. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you can set up stop losses on the Mexi futures market. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other Mexi tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.